We wanted to know if the Zika epidemic in the Americas was over. What we found was a hidden outbreak that outlasted the main epidemic by a year. When Zika virus recently emerged in the Americas, few could have predicted its magnitude and impact, particularly because Zika had previously been considered a mild and relatively unknown infectious disease. In many regions, the increase, peak, and decline in Zika cases were well documented by local reporting. However, reliable case reporting was not always available. To overcome variability in reporting, we devised a way to estimate local Zika case numbers from infected travelers. Additionally, we reconstructed virus ancestry and timing using virus genomic sequencing. In this way, we could model both the timing of cases as well as virus origins in the complete absence of local reporting. We reconstructed prior dengue and chikungunya virus outbreaks to validate our methods. In 2017, as the Zika epidemic in the rest of the Americas appeared to wane, we continued to see a steady number of cases in Florida and Europe from individuals who had traveled to the Caribbean. Based on travel destinations, we traced these late cases to Cuba. We estimated that this was a large outbreak with several thousand local cases. Why did Cuba have a large outbreak a year after Zika had peaked and subsided in the rest of the Western Hemisphere? Similar to Florida in 2016, the Zika viruses circulating in Cuba in 2017 originated from several different virus strains that had been circulating the year before in other Caribbean islands and Central America. So there was not a single introduction, but multiple different introductions that all appeared to occur at about the same time. We looked at weather and travel patterns and found nothing to set Cuba apart from other neighboring countries that could explain why the outbreak was delayed. One intriguing possibility is that mosquito control efforts were effective in preventing Zika from gaining a foothold during the peak outbreaks elsewhere. However, once the virus became established in Cuba, it transmitted with similar efficiency as in the rest of the Caribbean the year prior. During rapidly evolving outbreaks, a lack of access to reliable case reporting can limit response efforts. Furthermore, unrecognized outbreaks have the risk of silently spreading viruses to other parts of the world. In our study, we detected a delayed and overlooked outbreak by combining travel surveillance and sequence analysis of Zika virus genomes from infected travelers. This approach could be used to track other future outbreaks in the absence of local case reporting. Our study highlights the need for close ties between public health organizations and academic laboratories when addressing a public health crisis.